Hey guys, making money with Gary. Okay, I'm out here on one of my secret spots. Today is August 23rd, Friday, 2024. I sold a load of needles yesterday, I sent them out. I, well, today, around 1, 2, 3 in the morning, I got some more orders and I sold a load, load of them today. I didn't send them out yet, they're going out tomorrow. But the ones I sold yesterday, I mailed them out early in the morning. And here I am at, at my picking spot, and I'm going to tell you what I sold today, August 23rd. Today I sold one pound order, $27. Three and a half pound order, $80. That's in my pocket. That's in my pocket. And then, uh, oh wait, and then uh, a one and a half pound, yeah, one and a half pound. And that was forty dollars in my pocket, so it's forty twenty-seven for the one pound. Three and a half pound is uh, eighty, so it's one hundred and forty-seven in my pocket. And the total for everything is two hundred and ten dollars. The gross, the gross for three and a half pounds is one hundred and ten dollars. The gross for a pound is forty dollars. The gross for a pound and a half is around uh, fifty dollars or fifty-five, somewhere around there. So the total, well, the total comes out to 210 with tax and everything. So, but what goes in my pocket is 147. So that's what I sold today. Now, what I picked today, I, I've been out here for two hours. I'm seven miles from the house. I'm in, in one of my secret spots. And I picked five pounds. And I'm going to show you right here. That's my shoe. My shoes are a, a 13. And these are, you could easily see they're 15, 16 inches. So I'm going to pick these up. This right here, this right here is uh, $14, a little over eight ounces. I'm putting that in there and I'm trying to show you. Okay, that's the five pounds right there. It's five pounds. Showing you the bag's almost three quarters of the way full. But that is five pounds because they're dry. These are dry needles. When they're dry needles, it takes more to make the same amount of weight. But they're long needles. This tree here drops 15 and 18 and 20 inch needles. This one tree here. That's why I like to pick under this one tree. And that's what I do. And I get the, I get the 15, 18 inch needles average. And I do pick some 20 inch ones. And you can see my bag is good, and I've been here for two hours. I picked $130. I picked five pounds right there. With the five pounds, it's like 130 because I got to, I give extra when I sell by the pound. I give extra when I sell them. So it's like $130 there. I picked in two hours, $130. And what do I do with these needles? I sell them. What do I sell them? I sell them on Essie. How do you spell Essie? E is in Eddie, T is in Tom, S is in Sam, and Y is in Yarn. And I sell them on that website. And I get 27 a pound average. And I move 100 pounds a month. And in some months, I'll move 120. And then I do have months where I move up to 150. But my average is 100 pounds a month. And I've been doing this four years, and people buy these for crafts. They make long, uh, long, uh, long leaf uh, pine needle baskets. They make wreaths that go on doors. They make brooms. They make all kinds of crafts. There's, a, there's so many different things they make. And they'll buy, if somebody was to uh, just buy a little pound off of me, they can make a couple baskets that they might sell for. Uh, hundred or five hundred dollars each or something I mean depending on how, how what they look like and stuff and they're gonna, they're gonna make yes they make money with these baskets you'll be surprised you could, you could uh, do it check it out with a search engine put long leaf uh, pine needle baskets put a long leaf basket weaving whatever and check it out see what comes up and you'd be surprised what the, the art, the stuff that they make with these lonely pine needles. And I sent them, they don't grow everywhere. They only grow in zone seven, eight, and nine. 
I send these out to California. I send them to Oregon. I mean, I send them every state. I send them up in the Northeast. I send them in the Midwest. Oklahoma, everywhere. They go to every state. I have customers in every state, east coast, west coast, um, in the center of the country here, everywhere. I even get people in Florida that I had said this yesterday, but I do. I get people, they have lonely pine, uh, pine trees in Florida. Now, uh, I sell these to people, buy these in Florida. I even sell these to people in Georgia, and I mail them to people in Georgia. I even mail them to people in South Carolina. And maybe they're looking for the longer ones, because I advertise mine are very long. And I sell them right here in the state, and people can go out and pick them. Maybe it's not worth their time. Maybe they make so much money with the products that they make that it's, it's easy for them to just let me go out and pick them, and then they just buy them off of me. And then they make a couple baskets with a couple ounces and and make a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But I know I have steady customers that buy pounds and pounds off me. I have some people that buy uh, 10 pounds a month. I have some people that buy 8 pounds a month. I have people that buy 4 pounds a month. I have people that buy 2 pounds every 2 weeks. I have people that buy a pound a week. I have people that buy a couple pounds every week. And I have a lot of clientele. I have a lot of customers. I move over 100 pounds a month. I move uh, 25 pounds a week, sometimes more, sometimes less. And if it's less one week, that means the next week's going to double up because that's what happens. So I always have to be prepared. I always have to have these on hand. I have to have them. I send them out right away. I only give a two-day leeway. I send them out fast. I don't make people wait. So I usually keep my stockpile 20 pounds or more. So every week I'm covered. And I keep building up. I'm, you see me out here. You watch my videos. You see I'm out every day. I'm picking. And I'm trying to compensate for what I mail out. Now, yesterday I mailed a bunch out. Now today I'm going to... Uh, today I sold... Uh, Six pounds total. I got to mail them out tomorrow. Now I pick five pounds, so I'm going to replenish some of what I sold. And that's what you have to do. That's the idea. And if you want to do this, you could do this, but you make sure they're growing in your zone. And it takes time for people to trust you. They ain't going to trust you right offhand. And when you pick them, you want to take your time. Don't really take your time because uh, time is money. So when you pick these, look at them. If they're broke or something, don't pick them. Throw them back down. If they're short, when you're pulling them through your hands and you pull one through and it's like short, throw it down. Only keep the long ones. And then the long ones, throw them in your bag once you get a handful. And keep doing that. You're going to get something that are broke. You can't help that. You might get a little bit, but try to avoid that. But you, you can't do it 100%. You're going to find one or two. I might send a bundle out, and there might be three broken ones in there. So what? I give them extra. It's all right. But you don't want a whole bunch of broken ones in there. They're not going to like that. And they, they won't buy from you if that happens. If, if you, so you, don't get real, like, crazy. Just give them extra and try not to put put as little uh, broken ones in the bundle as, as possible. And always give your customer extra to keep them happy. And if there's a problem, always, you know, side with the customer. And uh, you're going to get people, or there are people in the beginning, I had people that were uh, real chimpsy and tight and they wanted everything for free. And you're going to get that on any website. You're going to get stuff like that. You can't help that. And it, there's people like that out there, unfortunately. And you're going to get people at it once in, a, once in a great while. You might get somebody that complains. And they might complain because, you know, they're, they're looking for something for nothing. And it, it happens. I had it happen. But very rarely. All my customers, like I said, because I've been doing this for so long. And the people know. They know they can't get over on me. They look on my site. They look. They see all the reviews. Say, oh, this guy's been doing this. For a long time, I can't. 
I can't pull my trick on him and say uh, they're no good or something. They, they can't do that with me because I know I know what's going on. You know? And that, it happens. And you do get people that, that try to do, do stuff like that once in a while. Now, the site I'm on is a very good site. I'm on, I'm on Essie. E is in Eddie, T is in Tom, S is in Sam, and Y is in Yarn. I'm on that, that site. That's the site I sell my Lonely Pine Needle. I've been doing this for four years. I get 27 a pound. I average $27 a pound, and I sell 100 pounds a month. And I also sell books. I haven't said this. I do sell books. Even today, with all my orders of pine needles, I sold a couple of books. And the day before, I sold a couple of books. I do sell books also. I have 1,900 items up on my website. And I have items on other websites, but my main site is the one site. And that's where I sell vintage books and I sell the Lonely Pine Needles. And the vintage books is another good thing. It's another good thing to make money with. I move 100 books a month. I average between 30 35 a book, which is between 3000 to 3500 for my book sales. And I average around 2700 for my pine needle sales a month. That's my average. And that's, I mean, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. Most of the time it's... It's been going up. The longer you do it, the more it goes up. And it's, uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy doing it. I moved down here, South Carolina. I came down here. I was over the road. The last thing I was doing, I mean, I didn't do it all my life. I was driving a tractor trailer. That was my last job where I actually worked for somebody. Had to clock in and clock out. Well, I didn't clock out. I'd go out in that truck. I'd be gone for months at a time. I just run up and down the East Coast. I make, you know, I, I did all right. I had, no, I had no complaints. I made good money. I, I love doing it. I love traveling. I like the Northeast, uh, Vermont, uh, New Hampshire, Maine. And, you know, I came down here, too. I came down to uh, Florida, uh, North Carolina, uh, Tennessee. I didn't really come down uh, to South Carolina too much. I've been down to Georgia. We had a terminal in Georgia. I was with Western Express. But I had a good time. I like doing it. I got I got my million miles doing it. I did it for, I did it off and on for over ten years. I got over a million miles driving a big truck. I've been all over. I used to dread going to New York City because New York City everything's tight. It's tough. You know, sometimes you got to pull in the dock. I was in, in the, uh, in uh, Brooklyn. You got to pull in the dock and a damn dock. Pulling in a building on a dead end street and uh it's it's tight, it's tough. I had to go in a lot of buildings where it's uh tight spots. And you know, and you gotta be real careful in the city because uh, it's it's made for forty eight it's made for you pulling a forty eight foot trailer. Well, I'm pulling a fifty three foot trailer and I'm pulling a a tri I got a tractor with a sleeper on it and the tractor is long and I'm I'm sixty five feet long. And I'm in the city, you know, 65 feet long with the trailer and the tractor. And you got to be careful. And I did it. I love doing it. I used to dread going to New York City. I used to uh, go to Chicago. Once in a while, I go to Chicago, Boston. I didn't mind Boston. Boston wasn't that bad. And uh, I love going up in Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, uh I used to like enjoy going to all those places. And uh, Virginia, I've been all over Virginia. It was great. I had a ball. I had a blast. I did it. My last job. When I left that, I didn't know what I was going to do. I, I came down here, and uh, she was like, uh, my wife was like, I don't want you on the road. I want you gone all that time. So I had to come off the road. I came off, and it was time for me to come off the road. I mean, I'm older. I did a lot of things. So I came off the road. And uh, then I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do here? What am I going to do? Am I going to just sit in the house and do nothing? Uh, what am I going to do? So I started selling online. I started selling different things. started doing my stuff, what I do. And uh, I was doing a lot of different things. I wasn't only doing that. I was doing other things. 
but uh, it just seemed to work. So I got it going, and I, I did it. I started making money, and that was it. And before that, I was doing something else. I was making money. I was selling stuff. And uh, I, was on, I was selling car parts and stuff, and that was kind of rough. It was rough. And when I got into this, it was, it was gravy. Easy money, quick money. Selling the books was easy money, quick money. I enjoyed it. So this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing now. And uh, it's not that bad. It's Anybody could do it. You know, if you're older like me, you could do it. You come out here and pick pine needles, you could do it. You go to a thrift store, you could buy books, old books, look them over, pull them up on the uh, phone, check the book out, make sure there's no writing in it, the book is fairly clean. If it's valuable, sell it. You could do that too. I do that too. I sell tons of books. I make a lot of money. I do good. Not a real lot of money. I mean, I made tons of money. I had a lot of different... I did a lot of different things over the years. And I, I had good times and I had bad times. And uh, in life, that, that happens. I mean, I had times where I was on top of the world. I had... I owned three rental houses. I had an HVAC business. I made 30000 a month. In the summer, sometimes I'd make 50000 a month. The money was crazy. It was crazy money. I didn't like that business. I didn't like it. I didn't like the business because uh, I, was, I was always stressed out with that kind of that business. I had a mason business. Mason business, I loved it. I loved my mason business. I used to look back, drive by places and say, oh, I put that... I built that wall, I, I, I did that, I did this. And I could look at stuff that I did years later, drop by, I was still there. And so the mason business, I enjoyed it. You know, I had a full waxing business. I used to subcontract and do big, giant shopping stores. And uh, that was kind of rough. That was, you were under the gun, but it wasn't that bad. It was all right. It was all right. I worked for, like I said, I said this already. I worked for waste management. That was rough. That was hard work. And uh, I worked for a lot of places. I worked construction. Years and years ago, I worked construction. I started out working as a laborer. I started out knowing nothing. And then I learned. Then I went to school for stuff, and I kept learning stuff. I was going to school in my 30s. I was going to school in my 40s. I was learning. I was doing stuff. Doing what I had to do and just swapping trades out, making money. I was always, always doing better, always doing better. And that's what happens. That's what life is. It's a little roller coaster. You, you'll see. <laughs> I don't know if you're young, if you're old, but you'll see. Uh, nothing's the same. Everything's different. You always got to be ready. You know. But I, I had a great time. I look back and I had a good time. I, I really did. I enjoyed myself. I. Uh, Made a lot of money over the years, and I had a good time. But all right, guys. Make your money with Gary. So you're learning from a pro. I am a professional. I've owned properties. I've rented houses. I, I bought houses. I fixed them up. I sold them. And I, I, I did it all from doing mason work. I made a lot of money. I saved my money. I invested. And I made the money grow, and I, I did a lot of things. I ma had made good moves, I made bad moves. I had money, I lost money. I had a lot of money, I had a little bit of money. But like I said, that's how life is. It's up and down. But don't panic. Don't panic if you're, uh, if you're struggling. Just take your time, and you'll come out of the hole. You'll come out of the hole. Figure, look around, see what people are doing, making money. F figure... You figure it out. You figure it out. All right. I'm rambling on now. All right, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you really like it, subscribe. Thank you.